ओके गाइस सो हेयर से कोई गुड गुड इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर यू अकॉर्डिंग द कंपनी बिहाइंड द गोरिल्ला ग्लास मेकर्स दे लॉन्च द लेटेस्ट वर्जन गोरिल्ला ग्लास सिक्स सो दे क्लेम सो मेनी न्यू थिंग्स एंड ऑब्वियसली यू नो इफ द कंपनी हैज इन्वेस्टेड लॉट ऑफ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम इन मेकिंग ए न्यू प्रोडक्ट इट शुड बी बेटर दैन कंपेयर टू आई नो वट इज करेंटली अवेलेबल सो करेंट अवेलेबल इज अ गोरिल्ला ग्लास फाइव वट इज देयर ऑन मोस्ट ऑफ द फ्लैगशिप्स लाइक दी वन प्लस Galaxy is Pixel. Most companies they do use that, particularly flagship phones because you know uh, at a slight bit of costly budget phones they don't get that the latest version. So let's first take a look on the official post of the Corning. So right here on my computer, as you can see, so they mention couple of information like one of the good information is that people drop their phones seven times uh, in a year, occurring uh, at uh, one meter or below. That means from the waist height. when you may be taking your phone out from the pocket and it just simply drop so i need to show you a couple of quick drop tests so we are going to talk about that you know is it really worth like what like is going to make your phone safe or not next thing uh, they mention is that the on the challenge of the gorilla glass 6 on the lab test gorilla glass 6 survive 15 drops on 1 meter on rough surfaces and is up to 2 times better than gorilla glass 5 so uh, on the gorilla glass 5 company mentioned that up to 7 drops it can withstand that means your phone won't break beyond that they're not taking any guarantee and here they're claiming up to 15 drops that means uh, is a uh, quite a bit of double amount actually more than double kind of you can say so which is great now this gorilla glass 6 is not an improvement to the gorilla glass 5 they mentioned that gorilla glass 6 is entirely new glass composition that can be chemically strength strengthened to give a significantly higher levels of compression that is possible with the gorilla glass 5 so they designed some new chemical so that means overall it is more durable obviously it will be as scratches and as should be and there are some new version called the dx and the dx plus for the wearables too because you know you're not going to drop it but wearables glass should be more scratch proof obviously you're going to you know, rubbing against the walls and table so many things happen so uh, let's talk about that uh, is it really going to make your phone safe are you going to stop using cases protection on your phone so uh, in my case i am particularly 50 50 and i'm sure you guys may have dropped your phone once or twice and but here in our channel we are dropping our phone intentionally to check all the durability we do all the review but now i'm starting doing drop test also because durability is also most important so here are a few phones that i have dropped quite recently in just 3 months of the period and very soon so many drop tests are going to come so this guy the nokia one is ha it has a unspecified version of gorilla glass so uh, on my drop test we have seen that uh, on the first drop facing the screen side uh, from 1 1 meter height the screen got cracked so like the company said it happens but still this phone is working uh, beyond the five feet drop to the skin got completely got so many fiber spider webs but still it is working so it is scratch proof but not the drop proof and uh, next is the recent drop test that we have done is for this moto e5 plus so uh, i personally think that is not just the glass you know which is important in making your phone safe it is the phone construction's design also which helps you to make your phone better in surviving so many drops so this phone is e5 plus and it just got cracked from a 1 meter height the screen got cracked and uh, after the 5 foot up to 5 foot more than that this is completely dead it is just not working not even turning on so what could be the reason you know what i think is that a uh, simple basic physics you guys may have heard or read e equals to half mv square you know mass into velocity if the thing is uh, you know heavy it will simply uh, take lot of velocity due to gravity and if you just multiply half mv square is uh, twice of the v so definitely it gives lot of momentum energy so the impact is actually more that is why it got cracked so this is again gorilla glass 3 not the 5 but still kind of a more safe but let me bring you one of the most durable phone of the year that i have tested this is samsung galaxy a6 again a budget a device so this guy just survive on almost all the major drops even i dropped it many times beyond 5 feet height you know just rough way it just survived super well so so after dropping many phones i figured out that uh, it is just not the glass the construction also very important so this phone is completely made of the glass even though it is plastic but uh, they added some kind of stress resistance there is not as a flexible plastic as this guy has this has a lot of weight so that is why this got lot of momentum and got cracked easily when you dropped it this phone is completely made of the plastic you know it's not shiny yes, like the other phones but it is completely plastic yes, and it is very lightweight as well. so these two things are very important it is very lightweight that is why it has very less energy when you drop it 
from you know certain height it just didn't break at all so i think that is more important when you try to pick phone just don't think if the phone is made out of the metal is going to you know uh, completely save the metal phones works for longer duration because plastic generally degrades easily compared to the metal so what i can say when you're trying to buy any phone just try to see a phone the weight first if the phone is very lightweight obviously samsung designed one of the lightest phone nowadays it is if it is lightweight then it is good also see the construction if it is plastic kinds of flimsy even though it is not bendable i try to bend it so hard but it's just not bending at all so these two things uh, plays very important role certainly that doesn't mean if you have six it's going to make your phone safe but having good construction is also very important now when this cooler glass six is going to come in the market so according to the company they are already in the discussion with uh, many of the manufacturer they are testing it internally so if i am correct the samsung galaxy s8 was the first device to come with a cooler glass 5 protection on it and hopefully wait for samsung galaxy s10 they would be you know one of the mass producer of the smartphone so definitely they will be having a lot of of contact with the corning so i guess samsung galaxy s10 will be you know first with the google glass 6 on it not the note 9 that device is only in the production so it's not possible there so hope for the s10 and definitely i will be showing you the future drop test anyway guys that's been it for today's video google glass 6 hope you guys did enjoy this video this is our talk to you guys in the next video very soon till then have a great day and happy dropping